Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. There is a lot of things going on in the productivity space and in today's video I am going to cover some of the new updates that has come for the last couple of weeks. There are some major ones and some smaller ones. Craft and Anytype has uh, a few cool changes. Mem uh, announced their Mem 2.0. Uh, and my mind has some small updates as well. Uh, so we will go ahead and just start off with my mind. And what my mind recently added is this new images uh, with smarter AI tags, image summary, and images are now auto title. What's cool about um, my mind is that they keep on adding updates without telling us about them. So I actually figured this out a while ago when I was just using the application that images now get auto tags and just to show you how that works uh, I have uh, picked out an image I will save so I am currently working on uh, getting better at uh, IG and just posting more fashion content so I am looking for some inspiration and I will actually just take this and I can right click and I can press add to my mind uh, and I get the ability to add tags, but I won't do that right now. And you can see that it appears right here with a TLDR and also a title and quite good, uh, quite good uh, tagging as well. So this is a great new update. I will go ahead and delete uh, that image uh, since I won't be needing that. But um, just in general, a really cool new update this is an important thing for an application that is a lot about actually saving images and saving uh, images from the web uh, and it saves me a lot of time having to write out the um, titles and the auto tagging also makes it a lot easier to find so the better the auto tagging gets the better the uh, the better the application in general will be like because that's how my mind actually works around AI tagging images, uh, AI tagging and images. So uh, great update, one I am really really happy about and one that has actually saved me a lot of time. Next up on the list we have any type and any type. Uh, I'm struggling to actually open up the application. I've tried deleting it and downloading it again, but I haven't been able to, so I can't actually show you this in my own space. But any type released desktop 0 uh, 0.42, their new version, and we have a new sidebar right here where you can choose to only show widgets or show both spaces and widgets. I actually like this new spaces on the side here instead of uh, at the bottom where it used to be. Uh, this has actually grown on me a lot uh, and I also do like the ability to have your spaces show all the time in case you have to jump between spaces. Uh, I mean it isn't something a lot of us have to do but having the ability to do that or to just hide it is great and you can also turn on only widgets and just see your widgets so a cool new update that makes the application look uh, a lot better and we also do have an update on widgets uh, they say here that we are bringing you widgets that are more flexible than a yoga master and now you can display widgets in three new layouts calendar kanban and gallery so we can see um see our widgets in different ways I like the gallery view of a widget. I think the calendar view of a widget is also a great thing to have. It gives us the ability to see uh, all of the things that are, or all of the most important things displayed in the way that we want just by using widgets instead of jumping into, for example, different databases, which these actually are the gallery view here and the design tasks events everything here is actually databases this one as well uh, so having the ability to use widgets instead to see everything at a glance and work with the most important information a lot 
e uh, a lot more easy, a lot easier uh, than actually having to jump into uh, each uh, of the databases. So they've made it a lot easier to work with information. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, we also have a new sync status, um, nothing special. It just looks uh, different, looks better. Uh, not, uh, not something I care too much about, but a thing that they of course need to improve and implement. Uh, last thing we have is actually a video here and that is this right here. Uh, not again, not something I ever use and uh, not something I will hopefully need to use either, but you now have the opportunity to use this as well. Um, so uh, apart from that, there are a lot of like quality of life improvements and bug fixes, but uh, the general updates right here are actually things I like a lot. I think that uh, these small improvements are making any type a lot, a lot, a lot better. Uh, I think that small improvements are really, really important. Next up, we have MEM 2.0. I won't go too deep into this since I made a video about it two days ago and I will leave that up here somewhere so you can go check it out. But they are basically changing the note editor. They are making the AI better. I showed you my mind and the uh, AI auto tagging getting better in images. Uh, AI in general is getting better. So it makes sense that uh, Mem also should make their AI chat and AI in general better. They will uh, be changing uh, sharing. iOS application will finally become a full application and they will fix the speed as well as make it offline, make it available offline, which I know is really important to a lot of you. Um, so this is coming. It will take time. It is still in the uh, alpha testing program. Uh, so there will still... Uh, you will still need to wait a while before this comes out in beta and then it will come out uh, then it will come out as a fully functioning mem uh, or as a fully functioning application but as of right now it is still in alpha so we need to be a little patient with that one probably the most exciting one uh, is that um Craft has released objects, uh, which is something people uh, watching my channel uh, are really familiar with because we have objects in um, we have objects in any type as well, and we also do have objects in uh, capacities and object based note taking is becoming more and more popular and. That is basically what Craft is trying to do here, to implement a way to use objects inside of Craft as well. Uh, and having object-based note-taking in an application like this is amazing because everything Craft designs seems to be really, really beautiful. And uh, so does the objects. This is still in beta and you need to sign up to be able to get access uh, to this, but basically we have this looks really similar to capacities and the way capacities works with objects that the objects turn into sort of databases with different properties that's what this feels like here as well uh, so this is the tasks object you can also add like project objects uh, and you can configure objects here so every object seems to be coming with or you can put on fields, which is basically properties in every object. So uh, this feels a lot like the other object-based applications, especially a lot like capacities in the way that you have databases here. I will also leave a link to uh, Craft's own video about objects so you can see how it works. But basically this feels a lot like uh, a lot like uh, capacities with objects and I do love object-based note-taking. This I think turns Craft into more of a note-taking app and less of a documents application. 
for a long time now it has been a document application that people use as a note-taking app which has worked but it feels a little like using google docs for your notes this actually i feel like pushes um pushes craft more towards becoming just a note-taking app so this is probably the uh, thing I'm most excited about for 2024, at least so far this year, out of the, out of all of the uh, updates I have seen, uh, probably together with Notion Calendar that came this year as well. You can sign up to complete the survey and to, uh, to be set up to actually try out uh, craft objects. But that was it for today's video thank you so so much for watching and i hope to see you again quite soon